Welcome Griffin Wildcats, Dr. Richardson here, class of 2026. And we're just gonna take a brief moment just to, to go over some different ways that you can do school, some different things to put into your toolbox. So Toolbox Tuesday. So we've talked a lot about the why and how your why lives out within your how and the how is how your process, the way you study, the way you do school. So today's lesson, is going to center on learning styles because we all learn differently and it's important to understand how each of us learn. So what's your learning style? That is the first step. So I think as a class, it would be awesome if you guys would just discuss what you know and um, share what you know about different learning styles and how your learning style has influenced your, um, your how as a student. All right, so welcome back. There's three main learning styles. There's seven, actually there's seven, but I'm just gonna talk about three today. And this was a game changer for me to understand my learning style. So there's three types. I'm going to start with visual. These are the people that can see, they learn by sight. Uh, they get visual pictures in their mind. Um, the second type I'm going to talk about is auditory. These are the people that learn by hearing. They learn best by hearing. And then the tactile people. Uh, these are the people that need to go through the process and actually do it. They typically like to move around a lot. So those are the three different learning styles. And it's really good for you to understand what your learning style is. Like I mentioned before, it was a game changer for me. There's actually tests that you can take online if you wanna find out what your learning style is. So once you know, let's say you're an auditory learner, these are the people that learn by hearing. So a good, some good learning strategies for auditory learners is to ask questions. Discussions are wonderful because you're hearing the information. Khan Academy, listen to um, the videos on whatever topic that you might be learning or struggling through, which is good to hear. Word associations, these could be poems, rhymes, different things to help you remember auditorily. Repeat out loud, like when you're studying, read it out loud. It's, it's just as simple as, as that. And then you are easily distracted. So if you're an auditory learner, you are very easily, you are easily distracted by sound. So be sure that you're in a quiet place to study. Try to sit up front near the teacher so you can hear better. Just do some different things like that so you can um, use your learning style to help you learn. Our visual learners, these are the ones that learn by demonstrations. Uh, flashcards. Flashcards are awesome for you. Anytime you can see it, it helps you to learn. Draw symbols and pictures. Like when a teacher's talking, think about it. You probably also like to doodle a lot. So think about actually drawing the picture of what they're talking about, the main idea. Try to pull that out and to draw a picture or a symbol. Graphs and charts and diagrams are super helpful for you because anytime that you can see it, that helps you learn. The third style I want to talk about is the learn by doing. This is me. I am a tactile learner. So one of the best ways for a tactile learner is to teach the information. Uh, take lots of notes, rewrite the notes. Rewriting the notes is super helpful for your tactile learner. Frequent breaks, um, stand or walk while studying. Role play is, is another good strategy and volunteer, get, be the one to get up and actually volunteer so you can be engaged in the lesson. Just think about any way to help engage yourself in the lesson. You have to do almost an extra step and that extra step is taking lots of notes and then rewriting those notes or different, or different ways that I just mentioned. So as a class, um, why don't you guys, I think the best way to learn is, by, is from learning from each other. So share your best teaching strategy with each other and name one study method that you're gonna try. And um, that's the most important thing is trying new things. Um, don't just try it once and say it didn't work. Just keep going, keep at it and have a great day.